And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Quickly Play Space Harrier. I'm still trying to manage to get to stage 4. Um, I'm not really getting much better at this game. But of course, uh, you, should have, you should have to bear in mind that when I was last playing this game, I didn't even have reached puberty yet. And so yeah, I only ever played it again yesterday, where I played it for one hour, and I was doing think, uh, quite well. Also in terms of my commentary, I was uh, in a pretty good mood. Today I'm not quite as good in terms of commentary, but I had to redo everything because had this extremely annoying and mysterious problem with my Xbox 360 controller and my audio recording. In case you haven't watched the first video of my little let's play of this game. Um, the problem was, or is, that whenever I plug in my Xbox 360 controller into my PC, into the USB port, even if I re remove the controller again, whenever I plug in um, a USB microphone. I have two of them. Both have the same problem. Whenever I plug in one of those microphones and record anything, there is a strange, a strange distortion. It's not not a sta static hum or anything like that. It's well, it's a distortion. And if I'm not too lazy editing, you might hear an example right now. Okay, if that sounded okay, then I was too lazy to do my video editing properly. But otherwise, I should have edited in... Shit, 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 shit. Okay, didn't die there. I should have edited in uh, an example of how that sounds like, that distortion. If you are um, good at electrical engineering or sound engineering and you have any idea what that distortion might be in terms of electrical circuits and so on, I would be very interested to hear about that. Um, my workaround for now is to sh shit. To shit, not to shit. Uh, that wouldn't alleviate the situation, I think. No, my workaround in this case is simply to record my audio in a different computer altogether that is not electrically connected to my PC so that would be my MacBook uh, yeah and, uh, and that kind of gets around that problem even though it doesn't really solve it okay Boss, 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 boss. Next up is the boss. And I just have to survive. A little bit. I just have to survive. I just have to not be an idiot. That should be fine. But I think this boss regenerates. That is not good. That is not good at all. That boss regenerates. That is not good. Whoa! I reached stage 4. Yes! And that means I can die now happily. But please not die in this game, I want to die in real life. Get ready. Please let me die in real life. Only kidding. I don't want to die in real life, of course. But at least I can now happily... Um, ...conclude this Welcome Let's Play. Let's, this Let's Get Quickly ready. Play, or Let's Quickly Play series. With this video, this will this video will be last the last video of my little series here because I achieved what I didn't think I was able to achieve. I got to stage four, and that's a sort of climax. Well, at least it was for me. Well, that sounded a bit odd. Okay. Um. Yes, my audio problems. Um. I still don't know 
how that is even possible that you plug in a USB hardware and then even after you unplug that hardware, it has permanently screwed up your circuitry un until you reboot your computer. Um, there must be something, something seriously wrong with this, with this setup. Um, I've no. I should try um, that on a different computer to see if that is just something that specific to my computer, or if it is something that is um, common to all computers and Xbox 360 controllers. Yeah, I mean it's not a big problem, I guess, because. Uh, I do own a MacBook, and I do, well it's not that much more difficult to record the audio separately, because I record it separately anyways. That is, I don't record it with fraps, but I record it with audacity, so I have to sync my audio, my commentary with the in-game audio so soundtrack anyway. But it would be still nice if I could. Well, it would be just interesting to understand this problem, to be quite honest, because. I mean, what the fuck? I didn't want to pause there. I pressed the wrong button. Yes, uh, would be quite interesting to find that out, or maybe one of you guys can tell me. If you know what causes this problem, or if you have this problem also, and if you don't know what the problem is, uh, well, if you have the same problem, let me know, even if you don't know the solution to this mystery in electrical circuits, 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 circuits. Electrical circuits. 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 Electrical circuits. Blah. Yes, my, my pronunciation is again fantastic. Um, as usual, um, it is quite, quite fantastic. Most excellent. Uh, duh, duh. I don't think I will get back to stage 4, which is a pity because stage 4 seemed to be finally something different. Maybe that was just my impression, because the first three stages are to be quite honest, they are not that different from each other. Uh, I just remember... remember remembered something, namely that there is a game that has just very recently come out that reminds me a, a whole lot of this game, of Space Harrier, that is the game Race to the Sun, which has a similar mechanics. It's a shooter on rails, but it's set of a guy with a sort of strange glowing stick, which kind of looks like an oversized cigarette. Um, and his legs protruding in a strange way. You are in or a ship, some kind of. But it's, it's the same of idea in terms of gameplay. It's pretty much the same. So much the same that I wonder whether the creators of this game, of uh, Race to the Sun, that is, might have gotten a little inspiration from Space Area. Dun 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 I also trying to remove that distortion from my audio using digital filters uh, but I didn't quite work. There are some things that I can still try. There's a technique called deconvolution that in principle can remove any distortion as long as 
and something weird happened with my emulation. Something very weird happened with my emulation. And I'm not sure why I'm at stage 4. At stage 3, I mean. Something very weird just happened. Uh, okay, never mind. Um, I hope it perhaps didn't have a problem recording this. Yeah, there's a technique called deconvolution that can remove any distortion as long as this distortion is equivalent to applying a linear filter to your audio signal. Well, in principle, because in practice you always have noise and that noise kind of spoils that idea of convolution. But there are techniques like Wiener deconvolution that somehow can deal with mm, the presence of noise. Um, Yeah, so maybe I will be shit. No, I'm not shit. Uh, maybe I will be able to remove that distortion after all. If I am able to pull that off, then I will present to you... Dun 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 dun. Um, I will upload. I will, up I will upload also this other series, uh, which I recorded yesterday, just because I can, but I probably will not be able to figure out a way to remove that noise, because that noise might not be equivalent to a linear filter. That is, um, so linear filter means that uh, it's kind of... So a linear filter is like a black box that has to satisfy two properties, um, linear and time invariant, that is. So it must be time invariant that is whenever you plug, play a signal into it, and you record the outcome, and then you uh, input the same signal but shift it in time, you get the same output but shift it in time by the same amount of time. That's the time shift invariance property and then the linearity constraint would be that if you add two signals then the result of applying that filter to it is just a, the result is just um, adding the results of applying the filter to the individual individual signals and um, if you scale that signal by some constant if you double the volume that is, then the result has also just, it's the same result but with double volume. Okay, I'm not quite sure if I did make a, a whole lot of sense there, but I was trying to explain to you in a few words what a, li a linear filter is. So you can, you can imagine that um, not every distortion is a linear filter, because it might not be linear. Uh, or it might not be time invariant. So if it's not time invariant linear, this distortion, then I can't remove it if it is. I can, in principle, remove this distortion by measuring the so-called Im impulse response and just deconvolute that signal with the impulse response. And then you have your perfectly clean audio signal. This will, this will probably not, not happen. But I can tell you something which is about to happen. Namely that this let's play, this video are at the end. So I hope you like this little series of let's quickly play Space, space Harrier. And when we come back folks, I will probably play uh, a game. So until next time folks, until then.